Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 7th of June 2022. And there are a number of very interesting news. The first one is an auction from Scotland. Sotheby's is auctioning off a few whiskey casks for 1.2 million pounds. Yeah, that is a huge number. And it's one cask of Brora, distilled 1982, one cask of Port Ellen, 1979. 5% of the revenues will go to the Ukraine as yeah. Yeah, as per usual. Um, then we have news from Glen Alaki, 30 years CS batch two. It's the oldest batch from the or the oldest bottling from the distillery. 6PX Oloroso Sherry Hacks. PX or Oloroso Sherry Hogsheads and Punchins, two um, American virgin oak uh, casks. Uh, it's then the, the whole bottling is 50.8% APV. Not colored, not chill filtered, limited to 2000 bottles. And it will be sold at around 600 pounds. Then we have a new record or a record price. Not a new record, but the record price, kind of a really, really high price for a 72 year old Gordon MacPhail whiskey. It's a Glen Grant as per usual from 1948 and it is sold for about, it was sold nearly at 95,000 uh, British pounds in Hong Kong. Yeah, also some NFT was sold on the side with that. Uh, then we have a new design from Glen Scotia and they're following the Loch Lomond as the Loch Lomond is their mother company and they have already have their new design and now the Glo uh, Glen Scotia gets the new design. All the bottlings from the 10 year old to the 25 year old. And Glen Scotia also says and now you can read the labels much better. Then we have some you know, personnel changing at the distilleries and that's Leon Webb is the new distillery manager at Tamnavulin. He is supported by the distiller Sam Douglas and the blender Kirsty Hodge. And yeah, they have their degrees at MSC Brewing and Distilling at Edinburgh. Yeah, that's kind of where everybody in Scotland learns their brewing and distilling. So if you want to study it, you have to go to Edinburgh. That's the best for distilling whiskey or scotch. Um, they also had already work experience in Canada and Scotland uh, in their field. So they are not just rookies from the, uh, from the academy, but uh, already working in the field. Then we have news from Ireland. Tilling Wonders of Wood is it, it uh, the new bottling is called and it's made from virgin oak, chinkampin oak barrels. I think we've already talked about that and now it is out and 50% malted, 50% unmalted barley, triple distilled. And the Chincampin Oak comes mainly from Middle and Eastern America. And the sales price is around 40, uh, 84 uh, euros. So yeah, a little bit less in pounds then, or a little bit more in dollars then. Then we have news from Bosch Mills and Bosch Mills is bringing out a new kind of brand uh, as they are clinging on to the BBC series of Peaky Blinders. Uh, yeah, it's a series that goes uh, of about the, uh, I think it was in Glasgow, a gang named Peaky Blinders and it's uh, the last season is out and now they're selling on the 10th of June, they start selling this whiskey in America to celebrate the last season and it will be sold at around 30 us dollars unfortunately i don't think it will reach the international market which is not good because many people around the world watch that yeah then we have wyoming whiskey they are um bringing out a park series number two wyoming uh is associated with the yellowstone national park and they had just had the Jubilee of 150 years old. So for every sold bottle, they are giving them $5 to um, support Yellowstone forever. It's a foundation that is wants to renew and keep up the Yellowstone National Park forever. 
Yeah, that's why, why they're called Yellowstone forever. It's a straight bourbon whiskey with 68% corn, 28% wheat, 12% malted barley. It's at 105 proof. That's 52.5% 50, alcohol. And it will be around, sold at around $70. Then we have a new whiskey out on the market um, and it's called the Bear Fight Single Malt Whiskey. It's an American single malt whiskey produced from Next Century Spirits Distillery Company. And it's unfortunately just US now, uh, but they want to go internationally in, yeah, in fall. So hopefully that will reach us as well. And they sell it around 40 American dollars. Then we have the international news. There's well, something from the international news. And it's from India. The Godowan whiskey uh, goes into the international market. It's a traditional Indian single malt whiskey from the Ajeo. The, uh, so the distillery belongs to the Ajeo. And it was matured at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 37 degrees uh, centigrade. And it's um, made with a yeah, special kind of barley and is already uh, available in Dubai and hopefully it will reach Germany us uh, very soon and hopefully you as well in the international markets. Yeah, so that was it for this week. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.